What's up guys, today we are continuing our series on how to make a shooter game in Scratch. So today we are looking at player death and enemy death. So without further ado, let's get started. So first when we want to make our player death, we need to create a new variable. So let's do that. Make a new variable and let's call it lives. And let's delete the my variable. So when flag is clicked, we are going to set our lives to five. And then we will put a forever loop. So forever, if we are touching the zombie. So if touching zombie, then we will change lives by negative one. So change lives by negative one. And then we need to put him back to his, his starting position. So right now we don't have a starting position, so let's do that. So we'll put it right there. So when flag is clicked, we'll go to there and we'll point direction 90. Okay, so change lines by negative 1, and then we will also go to there, and we also point direction 90. Okay, so as you can see, our play death should be working fine. Let's walk into it, and then, yep, 3, 2, 1, and then, yeah. So now we need to die. So we put an if statement inside that. So if we are, we need a less than if our lives is less than one, which is zero or below. So if that happens, then we will stop all. Well, you you don't have to put stop all. I'm just going to do this. So as you can see, I'm going to walk into a zombie. Four, three, two, one, zero, and then stops. Okay. So now we, what if you want an animation? So let's create a new block. And then this block is going to be allow, it's going to allow us to do our animation. So I'll call this death animation. Okay. So click okay. So I'll put this over here. I drag our death animation block just there. Okay. So what are we going to do in death animation? Well, we are going to set our brightness effect. So we get a set, and we'll change the color effect to brightness. So this is how bright we are going to make our player. So we're going to set it to 35, and we'll put a short delay. So we wait 0 0.01 second. Well, I'm going to say 0 0.01, 0 0.001 seconds. And then duplicate this, and then set it back to 0. And then we'll repeat this 5 times. And then just take this stop all out and put that underneath the whole thing so if we see let's do this four three two one and then we flash and then yeah so as you can see it was too fast so i'll say 0 0.1 seconds okay yep zero so what we want is our zombies to go back to its original position because if we don't put it over there then it will be unfair for the player so let's just i'm going to change this to 0 0.1 second and then this to 0 0.1 second so let's go into our zombie sprite Oh yeah, forgot, and we need to broadcast a message. So we're going to broadcast a message, and we'll broadcast a new message. So before the death animation, because it has a stop all. So before it, so new message, and we'll call this stop zombies. So it will stop the zombies from spawning. And then it will just spawn again. So we'll do this when I receive. So put a one hour C stop zombies, then we'll put a delete this clone. So let's see if that works. Click the green flag, and if we touch a zombie, the zombie should go. Oh, yep, I forgot something. Don't put this broadcast zombi zom stop zombies in this if. We will put it right there, like that. Oh, okay, so let's see if it works. Let's leave a life, and then... They've gone, and then they spawn again. So this is what we want. So our player death is working fine. So now we want our zombie death. So let's get go into our zombie sprite and this code. 
So when I start the clone, when I start the clone, we'll do a forever loop. Forever, if we are touching the bullet, then we will die. So if touching bullet, then we will delete this clone. And then, in our bullet sprite, we want it to, if it's hitting the zombie, then we don't want it to go any further. So let's go into a bullet sprite, and then I'll take this touching edge and put an or statement. So if it's touching the edge, or if it's touching the zombie, then it'll delete this clone, so that. So let's see if it works. Yep. As you can see, it's going through, which is not what we want. So how this is working is not what we are actually doing. Instead, if we put a when I started the clone and we put a forever loop and then an if statement, if we are touching the zombie, then we we'll, if we put a delete this clone, then it will work. As you can see, it's deleting, but we have a problem. If it's it's deleting before the zombies even have get to die, so what we need to put is a short delay. So let's put a wait second. It will wait 0 0.01 second. So a lot of zero, so it's really short. So as you can see, the zombies now disappear, which is what we want. And you can't even see them not disappear. You can't even see them <coughs> disappear. The zombies disappear a little lately because we put a wait 0 0.01 second, which is a long time. A very short amount of time the more zeros there are then and you put a one then is the shorter amount of time it there is so our zombie death and our player death is working fine so i hope you liked it and peace out